is the NBC Montana Morning Sprint. Everything you need to know to start the day. Sponsored by Bitterroot Furniture. Drive a little, save a lot. Yeah, time for your morning sprint. Brooke has weather in our headlines. Two people are dead, five injured after a pileup on Highway 93 north of Missoula Saturday evening. Troopers say a 66-year-old Paradise woman lost control on ice and slid, and a 48-year-old Missoula man ran into her car, then a Charlotte man hit the Missoula man's vehicle. Troopers declared the Paradise woman and a 66-year-old Whitehall man dead. Five others, including an 11-year-old boy, were transported for injuries. One teen is dead and another injured after a crash near R. Lee. Officers say a 17-year-old male driver missed a curve on Teresa Adams Lane and then the car veered off a steep embankment and flipped on Friday. One teen was declared dead. Crews transported a passenger to St. Patrick Hospital with injuries. Homeland Security is investigating the confiscation of more than nine pounds of methamphetamine with a street value of $400,000, as well as 81 guns and more than 30 new chainsaws, and enough tools still in the original boxes to fill a 26-foot tra foot trailer, all from a home on Whalebone Drive in the Flathead Valley. Investigators are trying to figure out what started a fire at an industrial building in East Missoula. The mill building there is a total loss. Firefighters stopped the fire at Minnesota and Randalls from spreading to other buildings Thursday night. The company's trying to work with other mills to complete orders. Still no word on what sparked a deadly trailer fire in Missoula. Black smoke was billowing from a trailer on Cooley Thursday night. Firefighters found an elderly woman dead inside. The Missoula Fire Department's Fire Prevention Bureau is investigating. Republic Services is making history in opening the first polymer center of its kind in the U.S. This is in Las Vegas. It's able to produce more than 100 million pounds of recycled plastic a year, we're told, and it will take all of Missoula's discarded plastic. A second facility is planned for Indianapolis. A Montana Tech is bringing back a favorite annual event for elementary students. More than 1,000 from across Butte Silver Bow piled into the Hyper Gym to cheer for the Ore Digger women. Kids danced with Charlie Ore Digger. The Ore Diggers do begin conference play January 6th. And a viewer reached out to us with concerns about many flight cancellations yesterday. So this morning, I looked at the reader boards. They show delayed departures from Missoula on Delta to Minneapolis and on United to Denver. At Glacier Park International, I see one major delay on Delta to Salt Lake City. Bozeman Yellowstone is looking good for you this morning. Well, with high pressure creating those valley inversions, it is trapping in some of that low cloudiness and fog. And that's what we have to start your morning. Freezing fog, visibility less than a quarter of a mile at times for both Kalispell and Missoula. Keep in mind, when that fog comes in contact with the ground, it puts down that thin layer of frost and creates an almost black ice type situation. Because of those inversions, temperatures staying cold for us. Kalispell and Missoula in the low 30s. Southwest Montana, mid 40s, 45 this afternoon in Bozeman. Take a look at the next 10 days. A weak disturbance could spunk off an isolated shower or two Tuesday, mainly in northwest Montana. Otherwise, just some cloud cover. We expect sunshine and a slight warm-up for the first day of winter. A high of 43 for us in Missoula. Another front moves in just in time for the weekend. It's going to spark off a couple of snow showers Saturday and push our temperatures back into the mid-30s by Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. For Bozeman, your 10-day forecast, you're going to take a run at the 50-degree mark tomorrow with a high of 48. You stay warm for the first day of winter, dropping slightly, though, this weekend. As we head into Christmas Eve and into Christmas Day, temperatures will be back into the mid-30s. All right, thank you, Brooke. NBC Montana is back tonight with your complete news and weather coverage. We'll have detailed forecasts.